I'm Trish Johnston, and you're watching In Bed with Designers on House and Home. I just redecorated this bedroom last week. Into this week. Just for us? Just for you. <laughs> for me too, but there was a bit of a push. I have to say, almost any place I've lived, Greg and I have not been happy with our space. Like, the kids' space is great. Living room's amazing, and our bedroom just always kind of fell flat to both of us. I need my sleep. I feel like I have to be on my toes every day of my life with kids and work and everything. You need that respite and that retreat at the end of the day. So when you go to sleep at night, you feel that little bit of peace. And when you wake up in the morning, you're like, ah. Oh. I think that even if you have a tiny space like we do, you still can add a lot of wow factor and a lot of really cool curated pieces in your room that make it feel unique. Everything that I picked design-wise, I wanted it to make it feel bigger. So with the larger paint on the wallpaper, it kind of opens the space up, makes the ceilings feel taller. I am obsessed with it. It's from Fine and Dandy, and they have these really original prints. And when I saw this one, I was sold, and I knew I had to have it. The window doesn't actually go all the way across the wall, so I cheated it with drapes that are hung side to side, so it really gives that expansive feel. It feels totally luxe. And like at night when it's closed, it's just cozy and beautiful and you can't go wrong with velvet. One of my favorite pieces in the room is this little gold chair from Made Goods. It adds that nice little bit of whimsy. It's a good place to sit, like my kids will come in and chat. And it's also a good place to put the pillows. It's a nice little landing space. I don't even know how many pillows I have on my bed. A lot. Ask Greg. Greg knows how many pillows I have. See, once you get into it, it doesn't seem like 14. Right, like that just went by like that. It's always gonna be a fight between a girl and a guy. Um, I win. <laughs> I think if we just go with the decor, the pillows. decor pillows. So it's really only seven. Do we wanna talk about a boyfriend in a pink room? Did we just break the interweb? I think we broke the interweb. <laughs> When I told Greg, my husband, that we were going to be redoing our bedroom, he said, what do you think about doing it pink? I was like, yes, I'll do pink. Boys can live with pink, right? He loves it. I would love to say, no, I don't store anything under my bed. But again, we live in a super small space, so I do have one storage bin under my bed, and it's got all my super high boots. Like, where else are you going to put them? <laughs> My dog is not allowed on my bed. <laughs> but when my husband's not home, sometimes we will find her there. Don't tell Greg. One of the payoffs of having a super small bedroom is we have this absolutely gorgeous terrace that's right off of it. It's dreamy. So we wanted to soften it. So we started with giving it a layer of the old school artificial turf. <laughs> it's come back. So no matter what time of year, it does feel really happy and alive. And then I decked it out, overstuffed, comfortable. In the warmer months, it actually serves as another part of our living space in our bedroom. We have coffee out there, we'll have cocktails out there, I can work out there. It's just this really beautiful bonus that I'm obsessed with. I've lived in this condo for almost 10 years and we actually rent it. We have 100% made this rental our family home. My kids don't remember not living here. It's, it's our home. And I think that no matter what your budget or where you are, you know, just put in a little bit of time and you can make it feel like you're forever home. <laughs>